entertainment pulls eye every week with her hard riding. into Diablo. There's nothing more we can do for your pa here. I know, Ralph, but why? Why did he have to die now? The Lord's will be done. Fifteen years Pa fought to get the Potter Springs territory open for homesteading. It was his dream. And now that it's about to come true. Mary, your pa left you with something mighty important. What do you mean? That dream of his. Belongs to you now. And to you, Ralph. You helped Paul win his fight back home. It cost you the use of your hand. Oh, not for long. It's getting much better now that I'm working on it with this. You've worked very hard at it. That's nothing to the way I'll work after we claim our land. I can get married. Proclamation by the President, Powder Springs Strip. Said land will, at and after the hour of 12 o'clock noon on the 20th day of July next, and not before, be open to settlement. You shouldn't be carrying such a heavy load. I'm plenty strong, Mr. Potter, but thanks. <laughs> you sure have been a big help these last few days, Tag. You don't know how I've gotten along without you. Sure has been busy, all right, with all these homesteaders arriving, but I've enjoyed it, especially taking care of Elvira. Yep, she's a good mayor. How are you today, Elvira? See that, Mr. Potter? She's feeling a lot better. <laughs> Still got plans, eh? You bet. I'm going to ride her in the Potter Rock plan run. I'd ride Pipsy, only she's too small. Well, uh, I don't know now as I'd count too much on Elvira here being able to make it. Uh, she ain't feeling none too chippy, you know. What do you mean? She's all right. There's nothing seriously wrong. Well, never can tell. Uh, sometimes, uh, things happen. What kind of things? Well, uh, just, uh, things. Now, that mare might have something else on her mind besides running in that land rush. Like what? Just tell me, like what? Well, uh, like, uh, uh, maybe it's, uh, 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 maybe it's, uh, uh... Sounds like you thought you'd up right into a trap, Dan. You sure did show up just about the right time, Annie. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Never mind, Dad. Well, has he earned his pay, Dan? He sure has, Annie. He's had a good workout. But he's uh, kind of putting me in a spot with Elvira here. He, uh, he still says he's going to ride her in that run. Jack, I told you this land rush isn't a game. It's serious and dangerous. Well, I'm not scared. Me and Elvira can make it. Uh, Tag, you better get the water in the horses. Yes, sir. You take it easy now, Elvira. <laughs> he's going to be a mighty disappointed youngster, ain't he? I know that, Dan, but... When he finds out Elvira's in foal, maybe he'll understand. He sure wants to ride in that land run. Well, he'll get over it, Lawson. 
Besides, I wouldn't let him ride in that stampede, even if he was in an armored stagecoach. <laughs> It wasn't luck, Dave. Money. I got the last room on the hotel. Good. I feel like I could sleep for two days straight. You sleep after we set down the horses. They're the ones that have to do the running tomorrow. Hey, cowboy. You talking to me, mister? That's right. Come over here. At your service, sir. Oh, sorry, deputy. I didn't notice your badge. Does that make a difference in how you speak to people, mister? I'm sorry if I offended you, little lady. My name is Mark Banning. Thought your boyfriend here might tell me where we can board our horses. Down the street, you can see a sign. Thanks. Don't mention it. Say, that's an awfully big gun for a little sprig like you to be carrying. You plan on shooting at somebody? That all depends, Mr. Banning. Come on, Dave, we better get. The little lady's liable to go to shooting any minute. <laughs> Take care of these horses. Yes, sir, Mr. Potter. Sure beautiful horse you got here, mister. Bet he's fast, huh? Fast enough. I've run every man jack in the stampede. Well, this guy's gonna win me the finest piece of land on the strip, Potter Springs. Yeah, you're gonna win it, Banning? Buy somebody off or steal it? Well, trouble doesn't come in bunches. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mark. You're a long way from Kansas, aren't you? Where's the old man? Isn't he going to make the run? I'm afraid not. You mean after all the talking he did, he's not even going to try? He can't, Banning. He's dead. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. He died on the way to fulfill a dream, Mark. A dream you're here to take advantage of. You mean the spring? What else could I mean? Look, Mary, I'm sorry about your pa, but this is an open run, not restricted to dreamers. Great White Father says the man who gets there first owns it, not the man who wants it most. You still got to get there first, Banning. You going to ride for Mary? I'm going to win for her. Well, all the luck, Ralph. But you're gonna have to do some plain and fancy running to beat my stallion. Sure is a beauty. You better pay Mr. Potter, Ralph. We've got to find some room. I'm afraid the town's about full up, Mary. I know I got one of the last places myself. I'll see you on the starting line, Ralph. You bet your life you will. Come on, Blake. Get in here, boy. Hey, watch out what you're doing with that horse, kid. I'm trying to, mister. He... I told you to take care of the horse, kid, not to bang him around. But honest, mister, I was Don't just... you talk back to me. Oh. That was the biggest mistake you ever made, mister. On your way. You don't do so well with someone your own size, Banning. He's been that way for years, miss. Just remember one thing, Mary. In case Ralph doesn't make the run, everything has a price, including powder springs. Now settle down, Mary. We're gonna make it all right. I knew it wasn't gonna be easy, Ralph. Oh, I'm Mary Rogers. This is Ralph Putnam. I don't think we've met. Well, I'm Annie Oakley, and this is my little brother, Tag, and Deputy Lofty Craig. How do you do? Hey, Annie, you haven't got any place to stay tonight. Well, I think we can fix that, Tag. It's not much, Miss Rogers, but you'd sure be welcome to stay with us. Oh, thank you very much, but I don't want to put you out. Oh, you wouldn't be putting us out, believe me. Well, I think that's a fine idea, Mary, and then I can bed down the wagon. Well, that's sort of it. Besides, I'd like to hear about your trip and what you plan to do after the land run. Of course, I've never been there. But Pa made a map of Potter Springs when he was out here years ago. I feel as if I know every inch of ground. Those springs are hard to get to, Mary. 
Not many folks will be making the run for that spot. It's a beautiful spot. Best piece of land in the territory. Pa used to say that Powder Springs was a place where a man could be touched by peace and blessed by weariness that comes with honest hard work, making it a home. I'm sorry. I guess I was starting to dream, too. Don't ever stop, Mary. You have to dream things out before they ever become a reality. Your father knew that if he wanted the springs, he had to dream the springs. Why, it even says so in the Bible. Where there is no vision, people perish. I know it's the truth, Annie. But with Mark Banning trying to claim the springs, too, I don't know. It's a marvelous-looking animal he has. Too much, I'm afraid, for Ralph's horse. Speed isn't the main factor in a land rush, Mary. It takes that old know-how. And there's a lot of rough country between here and Outer Springs. Hey, Putnam. Putnam. Who is it? Who's out there? Who are you? What are you doing? Badly bruised, but no broken bones. What happened? He's been beaten. Help me get him to the sofa. Ralph, are you all right? Sure. It looks like your friend Banning isn't taking any chances and you're getting to those springs first, Ralph. Well, I can still ride. I'm just banged up a little. Please, Ralph, be still. He's been badly hurt. Mary's right, Ralph. If you tried to ride in that stampede in your condition, you'd be killed. Mary, your dad. Carter Springs, a dream. We did what we could, Ralph. And now you're what's important. Oh, thanks, Mary. I've been waiting a long time for that. I'd give my life to make that ride. Dreams aren't made to be trampled on by men like Banning. He's got to be stopped. You will be, Annie. I give you my word on it. I'll write for Mary. No law says it has to be the man you're going to marry. You can't make that run, Lofty. What do you mean? The rules state that anyone that's been on the strip within 90 days isn't eligible. And you were out there just last month. I'd forgotten. I'm sorry, Mary. Please don't be. Your offer is what counts. We'll never forget it. Even back in Kansas. You're not going back to Kansas. Now look, Annie. No, you look, Lofty. I haven't been on that strip in over a year, and I know every inch of that territory. Annie. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I can't ask you to take a chance in that stampede. No. No, she stuck her own neck out. I might as well tell you right now, there's no use arguing with her once her mind's made up. That seems awfully dangerous for a woman. You don't know this woman, Ralph. So let me tell you, Annie, you're not riding alone. Maybe I can't claim that land, but I can sure ride her and you. And if Bang and his pal have any more tricks up their sleeves, I want to be there. Lofty, do you think they'll try to harm Annie? There's only one answer to that, Mary. What do you mean? Look what they did to Ralph. Are you sure you feel well enough to ride out to the starting line, Ralph? Take a galloping team of eight to keep me away. I'm not that crippled up. <laughs> and I'm going to do the driving. Well, you better get started then, Mary. We'll catch you out on the road. All right, come on. I hope we can win for him, Lofty. That horse of Bannings is gonna be hard to catch. You're forgetting we got a few tricks of our own, Annie. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. That's what we want Banning to think, Tag. And we hope he's so sure, Tag, that he sticks to the main trail to Powder Springs. 
Oh, I get it. Just like the story of the tortoise and the hare. Right. Only we won't always be the tortoise. I just bet you won't. Oh, Tag. Tag, wait a minute. Wait, it's almost time for the race to start. I gotta get to Elvira. Tag. Elvira won't be able to make the race. She. What do you mean? She's all right. The vet and Dan Potter are with her now, Tag. The vet? I mean, she went and got sick at a time like this? She's not sick, Tag. She's in full. And do any minute. In full? Why didn't somebody tell me? Aren't you going to watch the start of the run? What? No, Rossi. I got to see the Elvira. But good luck. Ah, uh, this younger generation, I can't figure them out. Who wants to? I love them just like they are. Just about set, Annie. Good. We're ready. I heard you were going to make the ride, little lady. But I'm surprised you think you got any kind of a chance in a buck boy. We've got a lot of surprises coming, mister. Have I now? Where's your pal, Banning? I thought you two always worked in pairs, like you did last night at Ralph's wagon. You got things figured all wrong, deputy. Me and Dave were at the hotel all night. But then what you think doesn't bother me anyway. That's the one minute signal. When the cannon fires off, you hold back. We'll give the stampede a chance to spread out. Good idea, Annie. Yeah. A little sprig like me. Pretty good time. Stay back, have you? 
so far back they haven't got a chance. They're in a fuck boy. You want me to stay here and pick them off as they come through? No need for that, Dave. They haven't got a chance. You might as well head back for town. I can ride the main trail and beat them to Potter Rock Springs by 20 minutes. Good luck. Pretty safe by now. Unhitch the horses, Lockie. Here's where the tortoise becomes a hare. <laughs> I know a straight line's supposed to be the shortest distance between two points, but that's the roughest straight line I ever saw. Shoulder wound, Annie. He's up there. Too bad no one will ever know about a little lady. Better kick over that claim marker. I wouldn't want the officials to dispute my claim to Potter Springs. Don't look so sad, Mr. Banning. You're still gonna get some property of your own. A reward for claim jumping. About 10 square feet in state prison. 
I don't know how I can ever repay you. The chances you took. Well, we'll have our payment, Mary. And knowing that we have such good neighbors living so close to Diablo. Well, Mary and I will sure work to make Powder Springs one of the best doggone spreads in this territory. Hey, everybody, come here, quick. Isn't she about the prettiest little filly you ever did see? She sure is, Tag. I only know of one prettier. But you're lucky, Tag. The one I know can talk back. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's trying to stand up. 